Heroes are chosen by fate, by their own destiny. And one hero will emerge to shoulder our darkest burdens and lead us all to a brave new world. Number five, and it starts off with a real bang, and what I mean by that is Crash. What a series. I don't think I've ever seen someone who doesn't know who the fuck Crash is. Jack, sure, some people might not know. Drake, yeah, some people might have skipped Uncharted. If you did, you're very stupid. But, Crash. Who the hell doesn't know the furry little bandicoot? My mom knows him. My grandma knows him. My uncle knows him. The rapist down the block from you knows him. Crash is Crash. Everybody knows that mother effer. You know, I'm going to keep it nice and calm. No fucks. No fucks to mention in this. Just effers, you know? He was a platforming god. Goofy and fun. Sometimes most fans could have had a good time just watching him on screen. The level design in the first Crash game was great and it got even better as it went on. The iconic character for the PlayStation 1 was amazing. Sure, Naughty Dog had some games before Crash like Rings of Power and Way of the Warrior, which I actually played pretty good. But anyway, Crash is one of their biggest games of all time. Hell, one of the most recognizable game characters of all time. So I believe that Naughty Dog started off with a real bang on the PlayStation 1. Turn the course of the future. We're in the future, Dax. This horrible place is our world. Respected amount of games every gen, and what do I mean by that? Some developers release maybe one game a gen or two. Some developers like to release six games a gen, and odds are some of those games will be duds. Duh. Even the top developers kind of fuck up. On the other hand, it's the other hand, we get maybe that one or two amazing games from that generation, or that good, you know, good to great games from one uh, developer, but that's it. You know, we're lacking. We want more. That's what we want as fans. And I always think quality over quantity, but maybe we can get a little bit of both. Naughty Dogs has always, always, since Crash and Onward, released four games every generation. Um, and that's, that's really respectable amount. And that's respectable. You're getting one every other year, basically, almost. Um, the reason I say this is that because you would expect out of the four, you're going to get one crappy one. But even at its worst, Naughty Dog still makes a damn fine game. Crash Racing and Jack X aren't amazing by any means in my opinion, but they are solid games and the fourth entry in those generation. Um, some people think that Crash Racing is one of the best games of all time, so I, this is just my personal opinion. On the flip side, with the PS3 gen, we got Last of Us as their fourth and final likely game for the PS3. And holy shit, is it not one of the best ends for an entire generation? 
Yes. That's the answer. There is no no. It's yes. No, fanboy of Microsoft or Nintendo. No. Y listen, it's yes. Look into my eyes. You failed. But in all, all in seriousness, four games a gen is a great amount, and all the titles are solid to amazing. Last year's model. You're going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. So, what's your angle on all this misery? Gonna get us all killed! Iconic characters. Say what you will, but Crass, uh, Jack and Dexter, Drake are all iconic characters. They will be remembered for generations and for good reason. Crash and he's the funny weird bandicoot, the wacky duo Jack and Dexter, and the adventure king himself, Nathan Drake. They will all be remembered because they all have unique and fun personalities. Joel and Ellie, in my opinion, also enter that realm of one of the best ever, and in my opinion, already in my remember forever list. Forever, I love you guys. But that's it. Iconic damn characters, and that's hard to do too. Walk in the park here. They're coming. I know. Number two, triple A list. And what do I mean? Triple A status. Triple A list. Triple A status. They, well, they make a list of triple A status games. Sure, not every game in the series are triple A. That's true. It's hard to do, but they somehow always release a triple A game in one of their series. Some say no. I say they release two AAA games each fucking generation. And PS3 generation, Naughty Dog released three AAA titles, in my opinion. But even before that, you got Jack 2 and 3. You got Crash 1 and 2 and almost 3. And in this gen, you got Uncharted 2, 3 plus Last of Us. These are some amazing fucking, uh, oops, amazing effing abilities from the developer. I probably said fuck a bunch of times without paying attention. Um, but the point is, that's pretty damn hard to do. We could use these constellations to find the lost city. Quickly through the canyon! Over there! Come on! Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. Pushing ideas to the next level. A common thing I hear from haters, haters suck a dick, is that Naughty never creates original ideas, and I definitely disagree. They take ideas that have been used, but polish them to a T. Crash could have been just another platformer, but with the amazing amount of effort and level design, its unique design, and amazing amount of goofiness with its characters, it pushed it to the next level. Jack and Dexter was a very solid platformer, and then switched to an open world sandbox type game with Jack 2 and 3. And sure, the craze of copying Grand Theft Auto at the time was big, but they did it. They did it their own way. They made it unique, and it had its own world, plenty of collectibles, and a very fun, solid story. You get Uncharted, which some passed off as a Tomb Raider copy. It stepped up and made the platforming steamlined but fun, better puzzles and fantastic voice acting, solid shooting, and a well-made story. Uncharted 2 just stepped it up and brought gaming to a new level in terms of cinematic-wise. You may hate them, but honestly, pushing that boundary and creating the next level in terms of mixing cinematic gaming together is amazing. And Last of Us storytelling is fucking fantastic and pushes it even further, making morality a huge question in video game world. And that just doesn't happen much. So you could say that they try nothing new, but pushing and polishing everything to an extreme is something new. It's something no one ever does or tries. They just try to focus on one idea. Naughty Dog likes combining ideas. So, Naughty Dog deserves the respect for pushing those things in a very solid fucking way. That's right. Fuck, fuck this stupid effing thing. They just do, they, they make it fucking fun, okay? Fucking fun is the is reason zero, okay? And that's what we play games for, to have a good time. So this is my final reason for the top reasons of why Naughty Dog is one of the best developers in gaming. Haters gonna hate, but we, we gonna celebrate. Naughty, I love you. I'm not gonna do the Naughty Dog song again. You can watch my Last of Us review for that. But I will say this. There's a bunch of reasons to be a gamer in life. But there's only one reason to be a Naughty Dog lover. It's because they're fantastic. And if you don't like them, you're not fantastic. You're a fucking moron. You are a fucking moron. I can't even think of a company that has measured quality. All the, has created 
foundation like naughty naughty sexy dog why did they name themselves naughty dog are they naughty are they just disgusting you listen to me you hate on naughty dog i'm gonna shoot you in your fucking nuts you're a woman i'm gonna shoot you in your tits shut up now naughty dog i love you i meant to click exit but i didn't fuck you